what I'm looking forward to about Saturday in the spring game is being able to compete in front of a lot of supporters. I think that's the main thing. You know, we've just been, you know, really competing against each other with nobody watching. And I think when, uh, you know, the cameras come on and we get a lot of people around, I think I play at my best. How's the linebacker squad going? Good. 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 Yeah, I mean, it's going great. I even have competition, you know, uh, Patrick Queen, you know, he has stepped up his game. So he, you know, kind of pushing me to make me play even harder because, you know, you don't want nobody to take your spot, you know, especially when you, you know, coming off a good season and being a starter. But I feel like the competition in the room has allowed all of us to grow, you know, as young men and as players, you know, on and off the field because you don't want to mess up at school where, it, you know, it causes you not be able to practice or some place. So I feel like, you know, we pushing one another to be great. Yeah, most definitely. Um, as a defense, as a whole, we're taking it to another level. You know, come this fall, you know, we won't be running the same three plays that we ran last, you know, the first two seasons when Coach Aranda was here because, you know, we didn't have more time to progress. You know, we get a lot of walkthroughs, you know, thanks to NCAA. I guess that's a good thing or it is a bad thing because, I mean, we got to be here even more. But, I mean, you don't complain because, you know, you're getting the, you know, mature as a defense and the younger guys are getting to walk through things instead of just going full speed at it trying to learn something. So how much has that playbook expanded now? Oh, it's expanded a lot. We got a lot of stuff that we won't even run in the uh, spring game. We're going to keep it simple. But, you know, just when we come uh, September, when we play in Miami, you know, we'll pull some stuff out the hat that, you know, nobody has seen before because we just put it in this spring. How much did you do you think y'all will show in the spring game? Um, out of all the plays Coach Aranda put in, I see him showing three different calls, and he's going to run those same three calls all game long. I mean, it's going to work because you just got to just be a master at what you do. So if he give us three calls to run and we perfect them, then we can stop the offense. But, you know, right now, while the you know the camera's not on, we're running a lot of stuff. So I will let everybody know that. Jacob said the adjustment is mentally. We were asking Jacob, you certainly looked the part when he came to campus last year. Yeah, that's most definitely true. I mean, when you first get here, you know, you're young. When I first got here, I was 17. I didn't know where to even go for class. So you try to, you know, juggle it all that with football. It's kind of hard on you and you're missing your family. But, like, you know, once he finally, like, came out and told me, you know, what he was going through, I kind of, you know, helped him out because I had the transition as well. So, I mean, that's the best part about it when you got an older person who's been through it and, you know, kind of know what to do. They can kind of, you know, throw you a rope and help you get through it as well. Three out of how many calls? Uh, over 15. We got over 15, and I can say that. And I think he's still expanding because, you know, everybody's kind of grasping to it and we're learning it. So, you know, he's able to, you know, run different stuff this year, and that's kind of what he take pride in. So these are the vanilla, the three vanilla calls pretty much? I mean, they the three basic calls that we ran last year. So, I mean, most teams know what it is. So, I mean, we just got to go out there and execute them. So the, the offense, the first team offense, we're going to go against the first team defense. So the offense is trying to get some confidence, but you guys are going to have no mercy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we don't want them to get confidence against us, but I mean, when it comes time in September, we want them to have all the confidence in the world, but we can't, you know, let them beat up on us on national television. So, you know, we're going to try our best to just, you know, do what we do best, and that's just play together and play fast, you know, Tigers on Tigers. A lot of people said, um, you know, you were quite the verbal leader, you know, one of the big secrets that you were about to do, but how have you kind of evolved as that leader this year in the short amount of time since last season? Uh, this year, I've mainly just been trying to do everything right. You know, as far as being here early, you know, they tell me I got interviews, just coming here, kind of setting an example for everybody else because I feel like, you know, if they see me doing it and they know, you know, it's helped me be successful as an individual, then I, they'll think it'll do the same for them. And it really will. You know, once you do stuff right, all the little things take care of itself. So, I mean, I just want, you know, everybody, you know, have a success that they want here. And then together we can have overall team success. I mean, and that's what's the major, you know, thing it was about, just having team success. So. I feel like if everybody just buy in to, you know, what I'm asking of them or what Rashad asking of them, you know, mostly for the defense. And then I feel like, you know, the sky's the limit for us. But, you know, overall, you know, I try to be a leader to everybody on the team, you know, just be that person that they can come to for anything. Did you see or did any of your teammates see the fact that ESPN picked you for six and six? Um, 
I think uh, Grant Delphick told me about it, and you know, I mean, it didn't really bother me, because I mean, I don't know, we zero and zero right now, so you can't really tell me, you know, how we gonna end up, you know, only, you know, time will tell about that, and I feel like the way we've uh, been preparing and working, you know, I feel like that's not gonna be the case for us, you know, I don't wanna speak on what we are gonna do, I'm just gonna, you know, keep preparing and just when the time comes, you know, take it a week at a time and try to go one and oh every week, so at the end of the season, we can be sitting where we want to be. What do you think about the, uh, the student practice on Thursday, having the kids come watch? Is that cool to see? Yeah, number one, it's cool because we don't got to practice this hard. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but, yeah, I think it's uh, great to get everybody involved because, I mean, they want to be around us, and we want to be, we want them to be around us because at the end of the day, you know, they part of this um, one team, one heartbeat because, you know, they part of LSU. So I feel like it's a great time, and I feel like it's it's fun because we get to do a lot of activities with those people and I feel like you know you know I think it's a great thing for us to do. When Jacob got here people saw him as this guy's a monster physically he's gonna get in there and dominate but what did he have to learn? What does he have to learn over the last year besides just looking the part? Oh he had to learn how to be patient, you know, because everything's not gonna go the way that you expect it to go coming out of high school. And he had to learn that playbook and he had to learn how to read offenses. And you know, it took him a while. You know, the spring is really the time where you know, it kind of helped you because everything slowed down. You're not rushing in to do it because you got to go face Auburn or Arkansas or something. So he got it now. You know, I can say that. And I think, you know, this upcoming season, he'll be more than ready to uh, put a show on for, you know, the whole world.